And we're back. So for your workout today, following on from our strength piece, for your workout, you know, three zero to five minute periods. In there, you're gonna go straight into the other ones. So in the first five minutes, you're gonna do 50 air squats. You've got two minutes to finish those. If you don't finish the 50 air squats in two minutes, then move straight onto your mountain climbers, okay? So then you'll do 50 mountain climbers, and then whatever time left until it hits five minutes, we're gonna plank. Um, you can choose whatever variation you want out of the ones I'm gonna give you, okay? Then you'll go straight into your next five to 10 minutes, which will be 50 jump lunges. Again, if you don't finish these in two minutes, move straight onto your sit-ups. So then you go 50 sit-ups, then remaining time will be a plank again. And then 10 to 15 minutes, you can do 50 weighted glute bridges. So use your sandbag, or if you've got any other form of weight, use that. And then remaining time of that will be max ground to overhead with your sandbag, dumbbell, or kettlebell. So that means if you've got a dumbbell or kettlebell, you can either snatch it or clean and jerk it. Completely up to you, just ground to overhead. Or if you've got a plate, even easier, ground to overhead with a plate. So same standard as always for the air squat. Hip crease below parallel, nice upright torso. So sitting down into our squat, hip crease below, hips through at the top, okay? So make sure we're not doing our reps like this. There are all no reps. Make sure we get in full range of motion for every single rep, even though we're trying to go fast, okay? So hip crease below parallel, hips through at the top. Then for your mountain climbers, you're gonna go into your top plank position. Should be you sat now after the first strength piece. Just gonna alternate our legs, so bringing one leg up and then the other one, then you can almost go into a run. So every time you lift one leg up, that is one rep. So you should be able to get through them quite easily. Then for your plank, you can either go over top plank for the remaining time, so straight arms, nice flat back, tailbone tucked under, or you can go onto your elbows, same concept, nice flat back, tailbone tucked under, or you can go to your knees on your elbows. That is our scale options. Then we are gonna go for jump lunges. Or if you don't wanna do jump lunges, go with normal lunges. So with your jump lunges, knee touch the floor every rep, jumping up to full extension into our next rep. Make sure we're not just jumping into our next rep without hitting full extension of our jump, okay? So they will look like this. Knee touch the floor, jumping fully up into our next rep. So I don't wanna see this. Nice. Even though we're trying to go quick, make sure you're getting good quality reps every time. Then you'll go into your sit-ups. We've done thousands of these. Same standard as always. Going to touch the floor behind you and then in front of your feet. So touch down the floor behind, and then forward in front of the feet. Then remaining time will be your plank again. Then we're gonna go into your 50 weighted glute bridges. So like I said, you can use whatever weight you want. If you haven't obviously got any weights, you've definitely got a sandbag, so you can use your sandbag. And um, for this, I'll just use my 10 kilo plate. So the weight is going to be placed on your hips. What you're going to do is head back on the floor, shoulder blades touching the floor, nice and flat. Then we're just going to drive the floor away of our hips, then back down, touching the floor, back up, hips through, as high as we can for every rep. Then with our ground to overhead, if you're going to use your sandbag, Both hands on the sandbag, either side. You're gonna keep a nice flat back, touching the floor, hips through, press it overhead, head through at the top, back down, touching the floor, head through. Same with your plate, if you're gonna use a plate for that. 
if you're going to use a dumbbell or kettlebell, go with your snatch or cleaning jerk. So touching the floor, hips through, changing hands every time. And then if you're going to go with your cleaning jerk, to the shoulder, then press. Touching the floor, shoulder, press. Make sure we stand up if we are jerking it. Cool. Right team, let's get ready. I'll give you a heads up when we're at the two minute mark. I'll give you regular time checks the whole way through as always. Let's get ready. So we're gonna start with our zero to five minutes, which will be our 50 air squats, and then our 50 mountain climbers, and then our plank, and then the next five to 10 minutes, we have 50 jump lunges, 50 sit-ups, and then your plank, and then the last 10 to 15 minutes, 50 weighted glute bridges and an AMRAP of ground two overhead. Let's get ready. Starting by air squats. You have 10 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Hip crease below parallel, hips through at the top. Let's go guys. Just over 30 seconds in. A minute in, team. We have three minutes 40 left. Into our 50 mountain climbers. No. We're at 3.30 team, so we're a minute and a half in. Into our 50 mountain climbers. Two minutes in, team. So if you've on your squats, finish your squats, go to our mountain climbers. Once you finish your mountain climbers, max plank for the remaining time. Let's go guys, come on. We are at two minutes left. So we've done three minutes. Come on team, keep moving, let's go. Let's get these reps in. So coming up next in our five to 10 minutes, we have our 50 jump lunges, or regular lunges if you don't wanna do the jumps. Straight into 50 sit-ups. You 
you have a minute ten left, we're in our next five to ten minutes. Let's go guys. If you haven't finished your mountain climbers by four minutes, go straight into your plank. So we've got 40 seconds left. Probably already have finished though. You've got 30 seconds left of your plank. Then we're going straight into our jump lunges. Twenty seconds. Last ten. Get ready for our jump lunges in three, two, one. Let's go. Fifty jump lunges or stepping lunges. We're at 4 minutes 20, so we're 40 seconds in. Let's go team, keep moving. We're going to go straight into our sit-ups. 50 of these. I'll give you a shout at the two minute mark if you haven't already finished your lunges. Let's go guys. Three, two, one. If you haven't finished your jump lunges, move on to your sit ups. Same stand as always, touching the floor behind and then touching the in front of your feet. Once you finish your setups, you're into your plank again. Two minutes left. Come on, team. We're at a minute thirty. We're 
we're at a minute 10. So get ready if you're not already on your plank. If you're planking in three, two, one, into your plank if you haven't finished your setups already. Thirty seconds left. Remember, you can do any variation of your plank. So, onto your knees or onto your straight arm plank. Completely up to you. Ten seconds left. Next time, next round, we're going into our. 50 weighted glute bridges in three, two, one, let's go. So laying this across my hips, feet completely planted on the floor, head back and just driving away the floor of my feet, pushing my hips up to the sky. 50 reps, make sure we touch the floor every time. Let's go team. Keep moving through. Remember if you haven't finished these by the two minute mark, going straight to your ground to overhead. Let's go team, we're at 3.30, so a minute 30 in. 30 seconds, finish these. <laughs> 10 seconds, finish these, and then you're in your ground to overhead. Five, three, two, one, right into your ground to overhead. Whether that be a snatch with a dumbbell or kettlebell or clean and jerk or ground to overhead with your plate, completely up to you. Let's go, we're at 220. Just keep moving through, nice and smooth. Many reps as you can. Two minutes left. Make sure we're touching the floor every time. Head through at the top. Right, we're at a minute 30. Make sure our backs are nice and flat with all the movements. Let's go team, come on. You 
have one minute left. Let's go, come on, all the way. Let's go team, you can do it. Hold on to that weight that you're using. You have 30 seconds left. Last 20 seconds. Last 10. Let's go team, loads of reps. Five. Three, two, one. And relax. Cool, grab a drink, guys. Give you a few seconds to get your breath back and we'll go through our stretches. One on team. So guys, for our first stretch, we come onto our knees, we get both hands on the floor in our tabletop position, we're going to slide one hand with our thumb up, under our other hand, and push our shoulder against the floor. And relax back to the middle, change sides. Relax back to the middle. This time we're going to go one hand out straight, you're going to push your chest against the floor and then push away with the hand that is planted. Relax back to the middle, change your hands. So get the other arm out flat, push your chest against the floor, and then drive away with the hand that's planted. relax back to the middle. So sitting down, from here all we're going to do is cross one leg over, bring it nice and close and then we're just going to hug that leg. Try and put it as close to your chest as possible. And relax back to the middle, change your legs. And relax. Both feet out straight in front. Just gonna reach over forward to our toes. 
reach as far as you can and try and lean over as much as you can. Almost try and get your chest to your legs if you can. And relax. From here, stay nice and upright. What we're just going to do is pull one arm across our body, tucking the other one under, and just pulling across the body. Change arms. and relax. Nice one guys, great effort today. Hope you enjoyed that, I'll see you in the next one.